Hello everyone. So today I'll be discussing question number 16 of Sec 2 Gate Civil Engineering 2022. First I'll read the question for you. Consider a beam PQ fixed at P and hinged at Q subjected to a load F as shown in the figure. We need to find the static and kinematic degrees of indeterminacy for this beam. So we have four options here. So it is a one mark question. And for a detailed lecture to find uh, the kinematic and the static indeterminacies, you can refer to lecture series on structural analysis 2 by Professor P. Banerjee, Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Bombay. So let us start with our solution. Let us see what is a statically indeterminate structure. When all the forces in a structure cannot be determined using equilibrium equations, the structure is called statically indeterminate. So what are the equations of equilibrium we have? summation of force in x direction 0, summation of force in y direction 0 and summation of moment at a point 0. For example, consider this cantilever beam AB. Let us find out what are the number of unknown reactions in this case. Whether the point B will have any reaction? No, because reaction will only generate when there is a restraint to motion. At the point P B, it is unsupported hence there is no restraint to motion and hence there will be no reaction in this case. What are the unknown reaction at point A? Let us see. The point A cannot move vertically, hence there will be a vertical reaction, let us call it AY. The point A cannot move horizontally also, hence there will be a horizontal reaction, let us name it as AX. The point A cannot rotate, since it is a fixed support, hence there will be a reaction let us name it MA. So in total there are th three unknown reaction for this case. From the uh, definition or from the formula of degree of static indeterminacy, we know that degree of static indeterminacy is number of unknown reactions minus number of equilibrium equations. For this case the number of unknown reactions are 3 and the number of equilibrium equations are also 3. Hence degree of static indeterminacy for this cantilever beam is 0. Now let us move towards the kinematic indeterminacy of a structure. A structure is called kinematically indeterminate if the displacement components of the joints in a structure cannot be determined by compatibility equation alone. In simple words, we can say that the number of unknown displacement quantities is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy. For example, consider this simply supported beam and let us find out the number of unknown displacement quantities. Let us call this point as A and this point as B. So can this point move vertically upward or downwards? No. Hence, the vertical displacement is 0 in this case. Can this point move horizontally? No. Hence, horizontal displacement is 0 in this case. We are doing this for applied load let us say F. Okay. So can this point A rotate? Yes it can rotate because it is a hinge support. Hence we will have a rotation let us call it as theta. It is unknown here. Let us study point B now. So can the point B move upwards? No it cannot. Hence the upward displacement 0. Can it move horizontally? Yes, it can because it is a roller support. So, let us call this displacement as delta B. Can it point, can this point rotate? Yes, it can rotate. Call it as theta B. Okay. So, what are the total unknown displacement in this case? The theta A is unknown, theta B is unknown and delta B is unknown. Hence, the degree of kinematic indeterminacy for this simply supported beam is 3. Now let us see if it is given in the question that the member is actually rigid. If this beam AB is actually rigid, the only difference will be this delta B will now become 0 because if it is actually rigid, then this support cannot move in horizontal direction because this beam AB will not allow it to do so. Hence the degree of kinematic indeterminacy will reduce to only 2 because 
now there will be only two unknown displacement quantities that will be theta a and theta b keeping these concepts in mind let us quickly find the solution for our problem so let us solve for degree of static indeterminacy first so degree of static indeterminacy is number of unknown reactions minus equilibrium equations so what are the unknown reactions in this case p by p x let us name it as m p and q y and q x so these are the unknown reactions so degree of static indeterminacy will be unknown reactions are total 5 minus equilibrium equations are 3 so degree of static indeterminacy will be 2 what is the degree of kinematic indeterminacy now degree of kinematic indeterminacy is number of unknown displacement quantities so what are the number of unknown displacement quantities here quickly let us quickly find it that out so this displacement will be zero horizontal displacement will be zero rotation will also be zero vertical displacement zero horizontal displacement zero there will be a rotation only so theta q so the only displacement quantity is theta q so the unknown displacement quantity for this case will be one hence our solution final solution is degree of static indeterminacy is two and degree of kinematic indeterminacy is one so it is option number one